foremost, we're getting started into the season. What you've guys played three games mm -hmm. so far. Kind of evaluate your performance so far. We're satisfied with where we're at. I think we're playing hard and playing together, you know, and, and that's always what we wanted to be the staples of, the, of, of a Snyder basketball program. And, and we know we've got to get better and we've got to get a little tougher on defense. But in terms of guys new to their roles and new to varsity basketball, I think we're in a good place. You know, you add that with people getting kind of used to their assignments, and then you add on top of that a crazy year already. Right. How hard has it been trying to add that extra element of this wacky year and getting games in? I think it just really still emphasizes the idea of control we control, get a little better every day and focus on the process. Like I think we learned last year that nothing's guaranteed, right? We don't know what's going to happen later or later on the season or later on this week or whatever. So focus on what we can do today, win the day and do the best we can and that's all we can do. Well, now you're getting into the strand of a couple of SAC games. Yeah. You know, how important is it getting into some conference play after getting your feet wet a little bit? Before well, it's fun. It's exciting. You know, these guys kind of know each other. And, and obviously, one of our goals is to win the conference. And, and with as, as kind of top-heavy as it is, we know we got to take care of business right from the start. And, and, you know, I think Wayne spoiled that for us last year. And, and can, we know that. And we, ha we know we got to come with that championship-level mindset in every game. Because, in a sense, every conference game is a championship game kind of touching on top of that how important is every single SAC game as you guys learned last year yeah I mean you got to bring it every night and and there there's so many good players there's so many good coaches whether there's nobody in the stands or if it's a packed house they're going to play as hard as they can they're going to play for each other and and that's what you want you want to be able to have those types, types of battles especially as you move in towards you know closer to the end of the year but we got to bring it and Wayne is, is they're well coached they're scrappy they're tough and, and they're going to give their best effort for sure You've been looking a little bit of Wayne this this, this year uh, this week already. I can tell. What uh, what about that team is something that you guys are preparing for? Well, they're just so balanced. You know, they've got eight guys that average between four and seven points a game. So you know, you don't know who it can be, and they share the ball well, and they shoot open threes really well. And they, like I said, that you know, they out rebounded Leo, a team that out rebounded by us by fifteen. They out rebounded Leo by fifteen. So you know, they're going to play hard. They're scrappy on the glass, and they're physical. So those are the things that we really want to make sure we clean up for for this Friday. You know, early into the season, everybody's still kind of getting to know these uh, SAC teams. What is one thing about Snyder that you'd like the, the people to know? Just that we're a lot in, in similar in that way. We want to play hard. We want to play together. We want to share the ball. It's not just one player or two players or three, three players. When you look at Snyder, you want to think, you know, look at the whole team, look at, look at everybody playing for each other and, and playing for, for um, the selflessness and the synergy of a program. Good deal. Coach, anything else you want to add? You got it. All right. So far into the season, you guys got to play three games. What have you learned about your team through this early, uh, this early run? Well, we move the ball really well. We got to get better at rebounding and defense mainly because uh, that's what they did better versus Leo than we did because we got out rebounded. But if we get back in transition better and and play defense better, I think we could have a good chance. And we're we're really moving the ball well on offense and letting it flow. And they're just doing their thing. This is really a young team. I mean, your two top scorers are, are juniors right now, you know. I mean, how, how tough or how smooth has it been trying to, to gel with such a young team and in such a crazy year? Yeah, I mean, me and Aiden were on the team last year, varsity. We we're the only two sophomores. And now to transition in this year, we just have bigger roles. We have to replace, like, Michael and Dylan, like, as the biggest scoring roles. And then everyone else came up from JV, so they've been playing together. So it's just, and we know each other, we're all in the same grade, mostly juniors and seniors, so it's pretty well, we know each other well and we know our games. How tough has it been just kind of getting your feet wet this season with so much uncertainty surrounding Corona and whether a game's going to be played from one day to the next? Yeah, we just had to stay, like, a lot of gyms were closed over, like, the months that we weren't playing, so we just had to try to stay in shape as much as we could, try to get as many shots up and just stay ready for every game, practice as hard as we can day in and day out. Looking at this Wayne team, what are you expecting on Friday? We just got to um, rebound because they're pretty big. They have a lot of solid players. Like They're just a balanced team. So if we just do our job on defense and rebound well, then I think we can, can get a win. Carson, you were on this team last year when you finished as a three-way tie for the SAC. It would have been an outright win if you could have taken down Wayne. How important is it to remind yourself that every SA game, game, SAC game is so important? Every SAC game is very important because it all comes down to just game by game. And especially with no holiday tournament, like every SAC win matters even more because there's no other chances at him really. It's except once throughout the season and then maybe in the, in the playoffs if you see him.
You've gotten your feet wet earlier on in this season. Now you go into a span of two SAC games. How important is it to to go, get maybe even more locked in and get ready for conference play? Yeah, we just gotta like scout each and every day and like see what they do well. And as we see what they did well by Leo, like rebounding more than Leo, and we didn't rebound as well. So we just have to scout and see what we have to improve at each and every day for each game. And we just look at one game one by a time. Looking at your role, I mean, you're a shooter, and shooters are going to shoot. How do you expect to bring that type of play on Friday? Well, sometimes I play a zone like they played in the past, so obviously you can just stretch it out there and get some shots. Or just we have flow, just get it moving, set screens, and just flow throughout the offense. I let the game come to me, and if I'm open, I'm going to knock it down. Good deal. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, I'm just good. Big rivalry on Friday. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All we right. got this. We got this. Uh, Aiden Lambert, A-I-D-A-N-L-A-M-B-E-R-T. Sweet. Aiden, you guys have gotten to play three games already this season. How is this young Snyder team gelling? Um, we're going, we go, we doing real well, like better than I thought. We're pushing the ball up the court real well and getting the ball uh, in the net. And, you know, we started off well and we need to continue that. How tough has it been trying to navigate through this season with all the extra stresses like, you know, coronavirus and not knowing whether one game is going to be played from one day to the next? Uh, we just take it day by day and we work hard on the court, like with the time that we have. And we make sure that we need to just stay healthy and keep our mask on. So when we get the time to go out here, we can just give it our all. Big SAC game on Friday. What do you think about that? Um, we're prepared. We've been working on uh, in practice all day. Well, all, all week talking about how we should work with uh, Wayne and their defense. They're aggressive, so you know we got to make sure we can get to the paint and score. Aiden, you were on this varsity team last year when you know you finished with a three-way tie for the SAC Conference where if you would have won one more game, you would have won, won it outright, and that game was against Wayne. You know How important is every SAC game that you guys play in the season when it comes down to it? Uh, we need to make sure that we take care of business. We can't... Uh, can't underestimate teams like coming into it. We just need to make sure we go out there and give it our all. You're one of the leading scorers on this team, Aiden. How do you think that your game play is going to transition into Friday night? Um, I'm gonna work hard and make sure I can share the ball with my teammates and get to the hole and knock down shots. With a lot of these players playing on JV last year, you being one of the varsity guys, how have you used your experience and your leadership so far this season to kind of help navigate a young team? Um, I've been putting people in their role, making sure they know what they're doing, running the plays correctly. And I just need them to do their part. And then after that, we got it. We're good. Good deal. A couple of span of SAC games coming up. How do you uh, maybe get even more locked in than you are now and really start to focus on the conference? Uh, we need to uh, make sure that we follow in what Coach says because, you know, he's going to lead us in the right direction. So once we do that, I think we'll be all right. Anything else you want to add? No. All right, man. Thanks, Aiden. Aiden Moore, J-A-D-E-M-O-O-R-E. Okay. Jet. first and foremost, you guys are three games into your season. How do you think this young team, this Snyder team, is gelling so far? Uh, I think we're pretty good. You know, we're, go we're a young team, of course. We've got three seniors, and a lot of people don't think we have the chemistry that – we obviously have. There's a little things that we have to fix, you know, like on defense and rebounding. But if we get that going, we'll be better than what everybody thinks. You know, coming from somebody who has had some experience on this team, how have you been trying to guide some of the younger guys in their journey through varsity basketball and getting their feel for it? Uh, basically just take their time because you don't want to rush into something you're not really ready for because then bad things could go wrong and basically I'm just trying to help them feel the game more and get them open shots for when they can shoot it and everything like that. So far this season this has been already a crazy season with not knowing if we're going to play tomorrow or what's going to be canceled next. You know how how difficult has that been as a player to try to navigate through that to always having to be ready but it's almost like a hurry up and wait type of thing. It's been really difficult because like like you just said, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Like, they could shut everything down because of COVID. But really, really, we're just focused on the first day of practice, and hopefully we get something tomorrow. Good deal. Now, talking about tomorrow, you guys face SAC opponent uh, Wayne. That was a pretty big game last year, and it ended up deciding the conference of keeping you guys out of a first-place finish. I mean, straightforward first-place finish. How important is every SAC game looking back? Every SEC game is going to be important. Like, 
if we lose one, we got to work on the next one. But we don't want to lose any because we know Wynn's going to be a tough team to beat. They're going to be physical on the boards and on defense and everything. We just got to outplay them. Wait, I was going to say, so what is going to be the most difficult task about Wayne? What, what do they bring to the table? Probably keeping them off the boards. they got aggressive guys that want to, you know, get every board that they can get. they got some tall kids, but I feel like we can get them off of there. Coming into a span of not only Wayne, but then you get into a couple more SAC games after that, how important is it for this team to really start to lock down and focus on the conference? Very important because this is, you know, everything. This is my last season. I want to make the best of it. And I know everybody else wants to make the best of it. So every game has to be, you know, A-plus game. Going on, kind of on top of that, with the SAC Holiday Tournament canceled, does that add a little bit more importance to these every other meetings because you don't get to see them for a whole week straight? Um, I'd say yes and no because, you know, it's a week that we obviously want to play and have fun. But then again, that gives us more time to work on what we need to work on. Good deal. Good deal. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What do you think you're going to bring to the table on Friday night? What is your biggest attribute to this team against Wayne? Energy. Like, if, if I can't get it going, I'm obviously going to give it to my teammates so they can get it going. Carson, great shooter. Aiden can get it in the, in the paint, score anywhere. And we got spot-up shooters like T. He'll, he'll start knocking it down. Grant, everybody. As a senior, like you mentioned, how important would it be to win out this SAC this year? Very important. It's my last year. Got to make the most of it. Good deal. Good deal. Anything else you want to add? Go Snyder. So far into this season, you guys are 2-1 and one on the year. What do you think about uh, this start so far for this young Snyder team? Uh, it's a pretty good start. It's a better start than people uh, been anticipating, than what we was going to get. You know, losing eight seniors and our best player from last year, People thought we weren't going to be as good, and we, you know, this team wasn't going to be as what we are now. How tough has it been trying to, uh, you know, add the extra element of not knowing if you're going to play one game to the next with all this coronavirus talk and all, and all that? Uh, we just go by what Coach Ross says, get better today, win today, you know, take it day by day. You never know what the next day holds, and just take it baby steps. Big SAC game coming up on Friday night. How have you been preparing for that? Uh, it's a big game. We've been preparing. We've been working hard. We've been. It's been a hard week of practice. And last year, you know, Wayne beat us, and Roush has been looking towards this game uh, since like August. He's he's waiting on this rematch, and he wants this game back. You, you know, you kind of brought that up where. If you guys would have won that game last year, you guys would have finished number one in the SAC instead of for that three-way tie. How important is every SAC game in a season when it comes down to it? Every SAC game is like you have to win it. You have to play your hardest. You have to give everything you got 100%, 110%, you know, because you never know who's going to win what games. You know, like last year, it was way closer than people would thought. This year it might be even closer, you know. We just got to stay focused and play our game and win. When it comes down to it, you guys have two big SAC games coming up in, uh, in your next two games. What is – how do you maybe get a little bit more locked in than you are now and, and start to really focus on the conference? Uh, I think we got to start by being more focused in practice, you know, taking it more serious, going hard, going hard all the time. Even when coach not looking, you got to go hard. You got to take it serious. You got to – you gotta act like this is this is all you you've lived for. This is the biggest game of your life. You gotta win. I love that. One more question for you. What? It, why is this Snyder team somebody that is a really big contender in the SAC this year? We a big contender because we got a lot of weapons that people don't know about, like Jay Moore, Aiden Lambert, Carson Jenkins, as y'all know. But Donovan, he can really shoot it. Grant, we got a lot of shooters. We got great defenders in Tyrese. And Elijah Brown, you know, we got great weapons. Everybody can come in and and uh, have a great impact on for the team, you know. Cool. Tyler, anything else you want to add, man? Huh? Anything else you want to add? Uh, let's go Panthers.